everyone. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So by the time that this video is released, my book AI Powered Pedagogy would have been released. So I really hope that you're finding it useful if you got a copy and if you have any questions, please let me know. But I thought this week I would share another snippet from the book. This time I'm going to be sharing the five AI principles that we really need to think about and adhere to when it comes to any kind of AI use or adoption. So if you're interested in hearing about the five AI principles, then please keep on watching. Okay, so in my book, I outline five really important principles when we're using any kind of AI. And the number one principle is that we must have human oversight and we must have that human input when we're using any kind of AI. Any AI tool is an inanimate object and we need that human touch and that human input in order to be able to make sense and make meaning of any of the generated work from AI. So having human oversight actually, and I'll just read straight from my book, human insight actually ensures AI does not replace human judgment, keeps educators integral to the learning process. So the number one AI principle of using any kind of AI tool is that there must be human oversight. Now, the next AI principle that I want to talk about, which is not necessarily the next most important, but it's about data protection. And so straight from my book ensures the security of information from all community stakeholders, preserving trust and integrity within educational technology. So we need to really be careful of data protection, and especially if you're teaching students that are under 13. And so I always suggest that teachers log in with their school accounts. They have multiple devices around the room, whether it's an iPad or a computer, and then students can go and use those AI tools without having to input any of their data. So we need, need to be really intentional with AI use and protect students' data. Now, the third AI principle that I've outlined in my book is about ethical use. And straight from my book promotes fairness, accessibility, and inclusivity, ensures AI tools are used responsibly and justly. And so that's a really important principle when we're using any AI tool that we have to actually use that lens of ethical use and responsible use as teachers and also teach our students about ethical use of AI tools. Number four is about using AI and I call it user empowerment. So AI tools should be used to enhance student agency and participation in their own learning processes. And so we don't want AI tools to be a substitution of any kind of thinking. Whoever's using the AI tool, it should be used to empower the learning process and, and student agency and ownership at the end of the day. And then finally, the fifth AI principle is about pedagogical transformation. Does the AI tool actually transform practice, teaching and learning? Does it revolutionize, this is straight, straight from my book, does it revolutionize teaching methods, creating engaging, agentic, interactive learning experiences for our students? And these five AI principles have been distilled from lots of principles that have been released from different boards, different organizations around the world. And these five, to me, really represent the five key principles that we need to be thinking about when using any kind of AI digital tool. So once again, what are they? Human oversight, data protection, ethical use, user empowerment, going around on my diagram and my book, and then lastly, pedagogical transformation. So thank you so much for joining me this week. If you've got any questions or ideas about what kind of AI principles resonate with you, then please share it in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.